As we're talking about electrophilic aromatic substitutions, we come across the sigma complex. Now, the sigma complex is that first initial product after our first step in the mechanism. So remember that we have our aromatic structure, and one of those pi bonds is going to break aromaticity, and it's going to reach out for that electrophilic molecule. And when it does so, it forms this product known as the sigma complex, in which that electrophilic molecule is now bound to that carbon, and one of the carbon contains a positive charge because it only has three bonds where that third bond is to hydrogen. Now, this molecule is no longer considered aromatic because the aromaticity does not exist all the way throughout the ring. But what we can do is that we can move these electrons around to wherever the positive charge is. So in order to draw those resonance structures. So how do we draw those resonance structures? Because it's really important and often uh, examinators or your teachers will ask you to be able to draw the sigma complex resonance structures. So this is our initial product and we have these pi bonds and what happens is that we can actually move electrons towards a positive charge. So over here this carbon has a positive charge so what we can do is we move these electrons over here and as a result we will get that conjugated pi bond over here. But as a result, since these electrons are going over here, this carbon will now only have three bonds with that third bond to hydrogen, and it will now have that positive charge. Now, in order to mitigate this positive charge, these electrons can, of course, move back to their original carbon. But we've already drawn that out right over here, and we're not going to repeat resonance structures. We're going to draw the third and final resonance structure, in which we have this positive charge over here. And what we can do is move these electrons down to that carbon, and as a result, we are going to get that pi bond over here, and now this top carbon will bear that positive charge. So when drawing resonance structures, just think about moving electrons towards the positive charge. So towards the positive charge, and then towards the positive charge, and then here in this case, we'll be going backwards because we are not going to be going in this direction because this carbon already has uh, four bonds. And to simplify this and draw all these, instead of drawing all these resonance structures, you can also draw the Arrhenius ion. So that's the Arrhenius ion. And this simply just tells us that we can draw this dotted line and a positive charge to denote that these electrons are delocalized uh, within this aromatic compound. And they're delocalized right over here instead of being all the way throughout because the sigma complex is no longer aromatic because this carbon is sp3 hybridized. It has four bonds. So that is your EAS, your electrophilic aromatic substitution, sigma complex resonance structures. So we have to be able to draw these resonance structures. And this, of course, is the general uh, structure for these. The, instead of drawing the E for electrophilic for the electrophilic molecule, you're actually going to have a molecule over here, and that could be bromine or it, or it could be chlorine. So make note of that.